Hi, I'm Justin with Alumaglow. Today we're going to show you how to connect split EL tape using crimp connectors. This method is strong and low profile and allows the tape to fit into many tight spaces. So let's show you how it's done. To get started, things that you'll need are a soldering iron and solder, some split tape, a pair of pliers and crimp connectors. You'll need an easy snap connector or lead wire, some heat shrink tubing, some edge guard, scissors, a heat gun, and an inverter to test it all. So first things first, what we're gonna do is cut about an inch off of our split tape. This allows us to have no moisture or debris inside the connection area. Immediately following cutting it, we're gonna put some edge guard on it. And what this is is essentially a commercial grade scotch tape. You'll notice there's two layers on the tape. As you fold it over, the other layer peels back off. So now we have a nice watertight seal. Next, we break two of our crimp connectors off of our ribbon. And place them over the tape. So when you take your two crimp connectors, you'll hover the connectors over the split line that runs directly down the middle of the tape. This separates your positive and negative. After your connectors are hovering the split line, take your pliers and simply squeeze down, making a firm connection. While still holding the pliers, bend back the ribbon. So the next step is to take our connector and solder the leads onto the crimp connectors. So first we just dab a little solder and melt the first connector in. At this point, you should have a nice strong connection area there. So if your tape is gonna see some movement, what you'll wanna do before putting the heat shrink tubing on is to add a little glue here to help reinforce this connection area. Next, we're going to place heat shrink tubing over the top. And take our heat gun. And at this point, you should have a nice connection. And lastly, we just need to test it. When connecting EL tape with the crimp connector method, the tape needs to go through a burn-in process. Sometimes this is very quick, under a second. What'll happen is the connectors will actually burn into the tape, kind of like soldering. Thanks so much for watching. For other cool lighting products, click here. For other instructional videos, click here.